Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and what I'm doing today is answering one of those real common questions that I get and that is, what is the difference between a pompano and a permit? They're very similar. They are really hard to tell the difference. Uh, so a lot of people can't do it. And unless you want to start counting their anal rays and dorsal rays and their fins, uh, I'm going to show you the easy way to do it. At least the easy way for me, because once you see it, you'll know the difference. So, a pompano. When you catch a pompano, you're going to notice some things about them. They have a pretty straight up and straight down dorsal fin, tail fin, and anal fin. They also have a very rounded face. There's no bumps or humps or anything on it like that are on a permit. So they have very smooth and rounded face. Their dorsal fin, their tail fin, and their anal fin are very straight up and down. Now, when you catch a permit, their fins, not only are they longer, but they're more sloped backwards, right? And their anal fin is really long. So if you see, if you catch something that has a, a small anal fin, it's a pompano. But their anal fin is really long, but they're pointed back like this. And they also have a slight bump on their head. It's not that dramatic. I did that just so you'll remember. Oh look, there's a little bump on the head. And you know you have a permit. It's not that bad. It's a lot less of an indentation than that. But there is one. If you look, you'll see that there's definitely a little, little bump there. All right. So let's talk about what they have in common, you know, because the thing is, they look alike, they act alike, they do a lot of things alike because they're very similar species. Uh, they're both jacks. That's why they fight so well. You know, you ever notice you catch jacks? They're so much fun to catch, uh, but you usually throw them back because they're not really good to eat. Well, these two jacks are very good to eat. A permit and a pompano are excellent eating fish. Okay. Uh, they also have something in common with things like uh, Redfish and black drums, they have the, it's in the throat, what's it called, pharyngeal plates or something like that. But anyways, there's plates in their, back in their throats where they can get a clam and put it between these two bony plates and crush it up and eat the clam and spit out the shells. So redfish and black drum do this. They'll suck in those snails, those marine snails and those oysters and such, and they'll crunch them up with their, their throat crusher plates and then eat the good stuff and spit out the bad stuff. So both of them have that. That's why they're, that's what they're feeding on. That's why I can take a big hard crab or a big hard mollusk of some sort and crunch it right up and eat it. So they're both eating the same thing. They're eating crabs, clams, shrimp, a uh, little fish. Uh, that's what they're both feeding on. Here's the differences. A huge pompano will be 25 inches and weigh eight pounds. That's a monster. Right? Most of the ones you're going to catch, three pounds. You know, things like this, three pounds. It is two, three pounds. You know, it's really, once you start catching four and five pound uh, pompano, you're catching good pompano. You can catch 50 pound permit all day. They're very common uh, to 50 pounds. So, huge difference. If you catch something that's a 10 pound something or other, you think it's a pompano? It ain't a pompano, it's a permit, okay? <laughs> Just count on it. If you're catching something three or four pounds, oh, well, then you got a problem. Oh, is it a permit, is it a pompano? I don't know, they look a lot alike. But once it gets big, you know you got yourself a permit. Um, they also like different water temperatures, so they're, they're dissimilar in that way too. So in my area, I'm in the Treasure Coast of Florida, the permit starts showing up around April, May, once the water temperature is warm, and that's right when the pompano leave, around April or May, because they have different sweet spots as far as the temperatures. You know, the, the permit, they're a very tropical fish. They really like it hot, whereas the pompano, they have a sweet spot. I mean, this is general for you to remember. It's not exactly 65 to 75, but use that as your reference. You know, you might catch them, at, at, they might bite at 64 degrees and they might bite at 68 degrees, I mean 78 degrees. Uh, but their sweet spot is basically 65 to 75 degrees. So once it gets below 65, they're gonna go find hot water. Once it gets above 75, they're gonna go try to find some cool water. 
So they're very migratory, uh, the uh, pompadour. Permit love hot water, you catch them in the keys all year long. So it could be a 80 degree water, they don't care. Um, the state record for a pompano, just to give you an idea on how small they actually are, the state record is eight pounds and four ounces. The state record for a permit, 56 pounds and two ounces. So there's a huge difference between these two fish. So once they get bigger, you, you know you know what you got on. And the pompano leave uh, and they go offshore to spawn between March and September and the permit go and they, they're spawning between summer and fall is how they do it. So there are some differences, but really they eat the same thing, just one gets a lot bigger than the other one. But this is the way I tell, you know, because even the coloring might match. You know, sometimes the permits are more orangey, you know, but even that changes. It depends on where they're where they are and what they're eating and things like that. So straight up and down fins, pompano, more slope fins, permit, you know, if you got a little one, that's how you're gonna tell. If it's a big something, you got a permit. It's <laughs> I doubt you're the lucky guy that actually gets to catch the eight pound pompano. So if you got something that's getting big like that, you probably got a permit. But I hope that answers the questions. I hope uh, I hope it does. You know, it is confusing. They look a lot alike. You know, sometimes I'm like, huh, <laughs> when I catch them. But hope this helps. And that's it for today. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.